Hello everyone, my name is Harsh and a very warm welcome to all of you in this AI Assistant app in Flutter and in the previous videos we completed the functionality for AI image creator as well as AI chatbot. Now we have left with the last functionality called as language translator or to be more specific AI language translator. Now what I want in this video is when I click on this, this kind of screen opens so what exactly is in this UI so there are two kind of buttons we can say okay one is auto another is two which means we need to select from language and to language so if I click on from now I can for now just let it be empty and when I click on to now I can select any language I like for here so if I search anything here like Hindi and if I select this and if I just type anything here like hello okay inside this text field i click on translate uh, loading is shown and this result is given actually the api key of this project is expired so that's why something went wrong try again in some time but we want to implement this feature so we need to design this basic ui in this video so let's just start so as you can see our application is up and running and if i click on this language translator the screen is completely empty so we need to design it so first thing is uh, we need those kind of circular stuff here or buttons from button and to button so i will go to our image feature and what i will do is i can just copy out this padding and all necessary stuff so it will save our time and i just need to import this mq and simply like this and actually i don't want the padding from left and right so i'm just removing this one and simply control save and you will see nothing happens because this is just padding and bouncing effect now the next thing is i want a text field because we will require it so i will just copy this one out and move to our translator feature and i will simply paste that here okay so simply like this and for now comment this controller stuff and control save so this is our text field now i want minimum lines to be five rather than just being Two, so I want actually a bigger text field and I just want to remove this hint text from here rather I will write something else here so simply here comma and I can just paste that so translate anything you want and simply control save and I don't want it to be in center so I will remove this just text align dot center and simply control save so maybe it looks good to me if there is some padding outside so we will take care of it in some time for now what I am interested is a from button and a to button so simply here I will use a row because there are three items in a single line okay so like this and inside this actually I will use a container so simply container and I can give simply a height and width to this one so let's say height of 50 and a width of mq dot width and let's say 0.4% means i want it to occupy 40 percent of the maximum screen width because we will also require a container aside of it and a button also and i actually need to give some decoration to it so we can see it actually so simply box decoration and i can give a kind of a border to it for now so simply border dot all and inside this i can specify a color so for now let's be colors dot blue and if i press ctrl save you can see that container here and actually i want it to be curved so what i will do is simply here comma and border radius and border radius dot all and then radius dot circular and let it be 15 for now so simply control save and it looks good for now okay and the next thing is uh, i want some text inside this one so what i will do is i can use a child widget here and for now let it be a static test uh, that is auto and okay so it is showing but it is not in the center i want it to be in center so simply here alignment and alignment dot center and control save so that is also in the center and it looks good for now so simply i can call it from language and i can just copy this one out and just paste it below with a comma and let it be to language okay from and to so simply to and if i press control save the both are showing here now I just need a button in between so I can simply use a icon button here and for now on press let it be empty and for icon simply icon and I'm gonna use a cupuccino icon here so cupuccino icons dot there is something called as repeat 
okay so i like this one so i'm just using this one you can use any one you like and simply a comma here and for now simply a control save and that's bit too bold so what i will do is i can just give a color to it so let's say colors dot gray for now okay and simply control save so simply swipe language button and i can add const in all the places okay and another thing i want this stuff to be in center so what i will do is inside this row main axis alignment and main axis alignment dot center so all the things will move to center by default and i want some spacing here so what i will do is i will just wrap this text form field with a padding and uh, i can remove this const and here i can use a symmetric horizontally uh, i want a padding of mq dot width and let's say 0.4 percent and vertically i want a padding of mq dot height let's say 0.4 percent and if i press control save this looks good to me and if you wish you can reduce the padding a little bit let's say 0.35 and it also looks decent to me so we have designed the input field now we need an output text field so what i will do is i can just copy this text field from here i can paste it below and i will call it result field okay and horizontally is okay vertically i don't require this much of padding so i can just remove this one and this is our output field but i don't want the minimum lines in this case okay this should be dependent on the content so i can just comment this minimum lines and uh, it will occupy one by default okay maximum should be the content of it and i don't want a hint text and hint style for this one so i can just remove this okay and this will be our result now the last thing we want a button so actually simply we can use our custom button that we created so custom button and we need to just import it and simply on tap we can pass it empty and in place of text we can type here translate and control save and it looks okay but we just want to add some spacing here so i can simply use a sized box and i can give a height to it so mq dot height and let's say 0.4 percent and simply a comma here and here control save so this looks good to me for now and one last thing i also want to create a controller for our language translator so i can just copy any of this controller so let's say copy this one and paste it here and i will rename it so i have just changed the name of the controller to translate controller and actually we don't require this message list and we also don't require this scroll stuff actually we will require this one in future so i'm just commenting this one out and this looks for now decent we can remove this scroll down and we can remove this list as well we can remove this scroll controller and we will require a one more controller which i will actually call it result controller and actually i will require two more rx string variables because i want to change them dynamically so final and i can call it from and that will be simply for now empty dot obx comma two okay because we need to store both the stuff from language and true language so that's why obx and simply like this and we can remove the unnecessary inputs and i can just copy the name of it and inside this translate feature uh, I can create an instance of this controller so simply here I can call it final underscore C that is controller and translate controller and we just need to import this class and after that we can just move below and here simply I can use this one so text controller for text field and here actually I will like to use result controller for result field and one more thing that I will check here if uh, underscore c dot result controller dot text is not empty now then only show this so simply control save and this will be hidden by default and with this we kind of design the ui for this multi-language translator and in future videos we will give functionality to it so that's it for this video see you in the next video till then bye bye